Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sam. Subscribe and join the fam. It is clearly morning. It's about 9 a.m., not like too early, obviously. But I woke up, I went to the bathroom, washed my face, did all that fun stuff, and came back in bed. Not too much done yet. I have today off, and then I go back to work tomorrow for three days in a row. I actually had seven days off because I took some PTO days last week and went camping up north with my family in Michigan. It was so nice to just get away and literally do nothing. Like, when we go camping, we do nothing. And we went kayaking, which was so relaxing, tubing, which was fun. Just sat around by the campfire together, played some games, talked. It was a really nice getaway. But now we are back to reality and this, we just got back yesterday, so this one day before I start work again, I would like to get a few things done. First things first, I do have a to-do list, but I have my laptop right here. No, I do not have a MacBook. I haven't felt like spending money on a MacBook when I've had this laptop that works perfect still. But I'm going to um, do my schedule for the next month so the, um, my work schedule for September is open and it closes tonight so I want to get it done so I don't forget and I don't get put on random days and I will show you what I usually do for my work schedule I think I showed it in one of my last videos too but I try to do days in the row days in a row on night shift but it is really exhausting so I also try to give myself like a big break in between sometimes if I can or I'll try to do two days in a row and one lonely day that way I'm not exhausted on that third day in a row also this is still for my old job my, my old job my night shift original nursing job right now because although I did get a call back saying that I have a position at this new job I applied for it's not officially up and running yet because the position is still going through this big approval process since it was like brand smack and new so i don't really have any updates on that and i'm still working at my old job and still haven't quit or done anything so i'm just gonna do my schedule as if i'm going to still be there which who knows at this point when i'll start but yeah i'll do that and i'll show you my schedule afterwards so this is basically what i've picked out here this is my holiday day so I have to work and then I get the day off the holiday after and then since I don't want to work in a row I have my two days here um this I requested off because I have my friend's bridal shower or bachelorette party I mean and then I work three in a row afterwards that way I can have like a few days off here before I work again and then again a few days off three in a row because this is my weekend day and then I have to put two Sundays into my work schedule so there's one Sunday here's the other Sunday and then this kind of sucks I only get two days off and then I have to work two days again but I didn't want to have to work a weekend day when I didn't have to so there's my kind of odd looking schedule I don't think it'll help to be just box in your room It's not like you to lose Faith in all the work you're doing out here You got nothing to fear and just check some stuff off my to-do list but I threw my hair out just because it's kind of crazy from sleeping on it wet right now and I don't want to deal with it so I threw it out I'm wearing this Ron John surf shop shirt I love it it's just like the perfect big baggy t-shirt and it has this on the back 
And then my pants are Able brand and they're just these black leggings. They're my favorite ones for leg day, which I'm going to do. And then my socks are these white Hanes socks. They're like this perfect awkward length, but I love it. And that's really it. I'm going to journal before I go actually because it is the 1st of August and I want to start doing three goals for each month and I'm going to start that now in August so I'm going to do that and then we'll leave Out of Target I went to the car wash and I got gas I went into Target for a reason not just to go look around and buy things but I did do that too um, I'm filming in the hot Sun in the middle of the parking lot so I hope no one comes up and watches me and I have the air off so I'm sweating right now but I want to show you what I got so I originally went because my best friend is having a wedding in October and she's having a bridal shower this upcoming weekend. So I wanted to get her a gift on her registry, but I know that I am like incredibly picky about certain things. And she has like a bunch of house stuff because they're going to get a house, kind of like Kelvin and I, just kind of like racking up house stuff before they get the house. And I know I'm super picky about my house stuff and like certain brands and certain things. So instead of just getting something or like getting doubles of things on registries and stuff like that i went and got a gift card from target so i got like 100 bucks so she can get something that she wants on there and then i also got her a card this just says happy bridal shower hope your big day is everything you dream it will be and more and i'm gonna write in it like something along the lines of like here's a gift card to get your perfect gift i don't know something like that that is what I went here for originally, but you know, it's Target, so of course I had to go wander around and spend money I didn't need to. And by didn't mean to, I mean I really don't need to spend money since uh, we are getting a house and I need to save money, but whatever. Whatever. I got this $3 tank top, white tank top, because I had one and one of the seams ripped and it came undone and I just wanted a new white tank top because I have a billion black ones and zero white ones. I got these, I don't know if they're supposed to be like workout shorts or pajama shorts. I bought them for pajama shorts. They are by Joy Lab brand and they're just these like super soft and silky gray tie-dye shorts. I love wearing sweatpants and big t-shirts or shorts and big t-shirts to bed. So that is what I got for that because a lot of mine are getting too small. Along with shorts getting too small, I got jean shorts because I actually have zero shorts. And when I say zero jean shorts that fit me, I mean zero. All summer, I have not worn one pair of jean shorts, and it is August now. It's August 1st, and I have only worn, like, biker shorts and workout shorts. That is it. Sweat shorts, like, whatever I can find that fit because I can't find any jean shorts that fit me. They don't fit me in the waist, and the, if they fit me in the thighs and the butt, and then if they don't fit me in the thighs and the butt, they fit me in the waist. And I just cannot find a comfortable middle. So, these ones fit the best. I wouldn't say they exactly fit. I still have a little gap in the waist, but it's not bad. It's not like a huge gap where you can like look down my pants into my underwear kind of gap. And I'll probably wear, sh um, not shorts, a belt with them anyways. But even if I don't, they're not terrible. Oh, it's a leaf. I was like, is someone at my window? But they're still not even like regular jeans. They are like a, a black acid wash ones and they're like a cargo style. So they have like all these pockets on the side and like this little loop and like this detailing thing on the back here. But they're on clearance for $10 instead of being $23. So I bought them. I was like, I'm not going to find shorts that are $10 that are going to fit me again, so I might as well. 
And at least I have one pair of like nicer shorts. So that's my haul. Nothing crazy. I am home, obviously. Let me do a little try on haul of the stuff that I got at Target because I didn't try anything on besides those jean shorts. So I wanna see how it looks and I might as well show you. Also, I'm the only one home right now. Um, Kelvin's working long hours and I'm going to hang out with my friend who lives like five minutes away. So her and her sisters are gonna come over and we're just gonna have a little movie night. So I'm just gonna wait for us to eat dinner and then they'll come over and we'll do that. So I'm not really busy at the moment. So let's just try on some clothes. Also, I put on these biker shorts from Amazon. They're like not super thick material. They're actually like a cloth material, not workout material. And they're my favorite to just like lounge around the house in. Okay, here is this white tank top. This was like that $3 tank top. I highly, highly recommend these. They also have black and just a bunch of other colors and then t-shirts too. Actually, I have them. I have the black and white t-shirts too. They're like a cropped, like the same length as this. And then I used to have black and white tank tops and I told you the white ripped, so I bought a new one. This is actually an extra small, which usually I would get small, but I wanted it to fit more tight so I could wear like looser fitting pants or shorts with them. I like wearing either loose and loose or opposites so loose shirt tight pants or loose pants tight shirt so i tend to get tighter tank tops okay so here are these they're actually high-waisted but they are like a longer short they're not super short which i actually really like um i still can't decide if i like really like them or if i'm just not a fan of them i don't know how i feel but this is how they look. They actually like fit decent around the waist. There isn't too much of a gap. There's a little one, but nothing crazy. I told you they have like these like cargo pockets, but I don't know. I think I like them <laughs> with like a tight little tank top like this, like some Converse or some dad tennis shoes. I don't know, could be cute. I like that they're a little bit bigger and they're not like super short makes it a little different but yeah here's these these are called the what are these i have no idea what these are oh these are called the highest rise utility shorts i don't know if you can see that and these are a double zero 24 waist i know i'm absolutely tiny but it's a struggle to find clothes sometimes, so it's not always a blessing. And then here are these pajama lightweight shorts. These are so comfy, actually. They are like the lightest weight. It almost looks kind of brown on camera instead of gray, but here's the back. They're just super flowy. They fit super nice, though. Just wear this like on a hot day inside. Yeah, these were like ten dollars on sale and I really like them. I'm just saying it don't have to believe in me. It's no life to live in the now. You don't need saving. I, I kinda look like a mess because I've been sitting outside basically for the last four hours with my friend and her two sisters who are basically my sisters I've been friends with her for that long um and it was windy so my hair's crazy but they just left I didn't really vlog or like do anything during it just because we sat outside talked about life random things watched the movies we watched Bachelorette um we got through the first two episodes and they just left I'm eating a cinnamon roll that she brought me because she is great at baking. I suck at baking. I'm only good at cooking, so she always bakes me stuff. And then I'm going to make some tea. It's over here. Oh, I also changed into these pajama pants and tank top while I was out there because my legs were getting cold. But 
I got this on Amazon during Amazon Prime. They had a deal for like 50% off of this whole box and it was literally like $5 for how many teas are in here? I think like 48, yeah, 48 tea bags, which is absolutely insane. And it has all of these. English breakfast tea, decaf breakfast tea, Assam tea, I don't know what that is. Earl Grey tea, lemon and orange, green tea with jasmine, peppermint, and chamomile. And it kind of tells you how to make like the perfect cup, like how to, how long to infuse it, what to enjoy it with. So I'm kind of excited to just have a box of a bunch of random teas. And a lot of these I've either never had or had like do not have often at all compared to like these teas this is this caramel chai i have in the morning a lot these um vanilla bean macaroon is kind of like a dessert tea i have at night a lot and then some of these are just like gut healthy like this one lemon ginger this is seasonal so like helps for colds and stuff but let me open it here for you. So here is what this looks like when you open it. Again, it just has all eight of these teas and it smells so good like when you open this box. And then it tells you on the back how to make it. But yeah, this it was honestly an amazing deal on Amazon for all of these teas. So I think I'm going to have chamomile because I know this is good for like a nighttime tea. Okay, I am letting my tea steep right now. I'm gonna wash my face and stuff. You guys have seen that a billion times. And then I'm going to sit in bed, watch some YouTube, Netflix, whatever, until I fall asleep because I need to stay up since I work tomorrow. Um, you guys don't need to see all this because you've seen it a billion times before. I feel like I didn't do too much in this vlog. Oh, there's my Italian coming out. I feel like I didn't do too much in this vlog, but I picked up the camera, I vlogged, I had fun with it. That's what matters. As long as one of you enjoy it, I accomplished my goal. So, with that said, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.